All right, welcome or welcome back, everyone. New project day. Should be a pretty simple one. The Witch House. Uh, another Timu I pick up. I think this one's like $8, and they've got several different varieties to pick from on it. You can do a zombie house, or I forget the name of them, but there's four or five options. I'm not sure if they'd make it here by Halloween since we're down to, what, 12 days, 11 by the time it gets posted before we <laughs> they, you know, get there. But uh, like I said, real simple, straightforward build, two stars. It looks, I think this is the same. I built one of these last year. There was, I, bought, I built a big Halloween display. I'll link it in the end of a, a big house. You know, it had, I think it was three little ho three houses and it was light up LEDs and everything. So I think this is actually part of that one that they've sort of cut off on the end. I am going to do a little different today. I'm just going to go straight through and show you the, since this one I, I predict is going to be, if I didn't do it, it'd be like a 12 minute build. Uh, I'm just going to go straight through, show you all the steps, I'm going to do the sanding and everything. I actually have going, I, I guess, you can call it the extra mile. I've got my paint markers out, so I'm gonna give this one, try and do a little decorating on this one to see. And I've even got a, an extra, on top of that, extra bonus step I'm gonna try that I'm not sure about, but I'm, you know, I'm trying to repurpose some junk mail, basically. I'll, I'll explain that when I will get to it. <laughs> Let's see. I hope the instructions are on there because they're not in the box. Okay, there they are. <laughs> Yeah, let's see, keep popping this stuff open. I said, I saw this, I thought it'd just be a fun little one day build, like I, like most of my Timu stuff is that I buy. I've got, I've got a couple on order that I think is going to be more involved. They're more Christmas themed, so we'll, so when we get to that time of year, we'll be, we'll see how good or bad those, that idea was. Um, I'm pretty sure most of the book nooks, it just, they hire the Chinese companies to build them for them. And it's just, you know, whoever wants to put their name on them. Because it seems like I've built a couple of them that are, they you know, obviously from the same companies. And they're not, you know, you know they're not the same brand. <laughs> they're obviously built by the same people in the same factories. Okay, and this one, if it's like the last one, if this one's going to require some gluing. I'm looking at that. You know, got you know, got the trees and the cat and the door and all that stuff. So I think I'm gonna have plenty of time to do decorating. Let's see what we got. Oh, three sheets. So not, you know, like I said, not too shabby. Like I say, it shouldn't take long to actually do the build. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the the painting is gonna be the tedious part. And uh, but you know, especially. Okay, it's good because I'm going to be able to, I'm actually, mm, I hope, I don't know how thick my paint is, is the, the, I think going to be the real issue. <laughs> I don't want to cover up their details, but I'm, only one way to find out, and that's to experiment. Are there any spare pieces? If I can get a thin enough coat on, you know, the, the spider webs and stuff will show through it, so that's, that's sort of what I want. Because I'm definitely not artistic enough to draw that. But I might be able to trace that if I can still see some of it through there. Okay, <laughs> enough babbling. Let's uh, jump in and start pulling pieces. And oh, let me turn on the rest of my lights. A little more visibility. Get over here to step one. So, let's see. Looks like, okay, they got them all well numbered and everything on here and on the instructions. So that's always a good start. We're starting with this sheet. I think so. Well, got it. Three and eleven. So three and eleven. Easy. Good cuts on them. They're easy to pop out. That's always a positive. You, you want it. There's there's that fine line where you got to, you want them to stay in the form, but you also don't want them to be impossible to get off the form. So, so I'd rather have them be a little sticky and not then not being able to get them off at all. Then 4, 10, and 19. So 19. And 4 and 10 must be on a different sheet. <laughs> or am I just not seeing them? 
Okay, there's 10. Okay. And the, as I was talking about them not falling off pieces, there they are falling off right there. Oh, fours over here on this one. They are not in any kind of numerical order. <laughs> so that four, ten, two fours, a ten, and a nineteen. Okay, ten. What's that? <laughs> Lost count. Two fours, ten, nineteen, three, eleven. Okay. Okay, so. Any details on these guys? No, oh, that would be the ones to ideally check on. But let's see. Let's see how thick my orange is. Well, up here on the top, because that'll. Because I'm going to be able. There's a trim piece that's going to go around, so we can experiment a little here. See how that goes. And actually, I guess. Actually, these were cut good enough where I'm not even going to worry about sanding them. Those. Those burrs are in the burrs are going to be underneath anyway. Yeah, but they're actually really good. These are really good cuts on these pieces. But let's let's see here. Oh, it's going to show through. I love it. So let's just paint this one orange. <laughs> oh, their paint's actually soaking in, so that's even better. Okay. I guess when I do the black trim, it won't be showing through though. <laughs> Let's see. Looks like these are all. Looks like, oh, they don't go crazy on it. It looks like they'll soak in. Actually, I'm pretty, yeah, there's a trim that goes on top of the window, too, so we don't have to get next to the edges. Just got broad strokes here. Make sure we're covering all the interior bits. A relief, and that's nice. Let's say that. And, and down here is where the same. This is the back doors. It got a. It got a front window frame. I don't think it does actually. Okay, they don't do anything on the back. <laughs> okay, but we do get. Okay, there's a witch on the inside. Most of this is going to be underground, so it's not that important to get it covered, but I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> okay. That should get all the pertinent points. Same thing over here. These paint markers make life so much easier for people like me that don't have talent. <laughs> and it makes a nice thin coat over top of the spider web here in the corner. We can soak in. It was funny when I 
did the painting on my whirly gig. I posted a short of it where I painted the blades different colors and I deleted the comment but somebody made the comment they were mad because I used paint markers rather than actual paint brushes to paint it with. And I, I have a strict don't feed the trolls policy but I, I, I made a comment and deleted everything just because I thought it was I just thought how sad is that guy's life that he's got to stop and complain about me using a paint marker instead of paint brushes. <laughs> but he was evidently offended by anybody who uses paint markers, so he wasn't singling me out. But I just happened to catch it that day. <laughs> but it was more funny than offensive to me, so I just... Okay. Right. That is... That's, I'm, I'm pleased those like I said, I was, once I saw those spiderweb details on the picture I was a little worried about it but that's going to work out good okay now do I want to debate whether I want to try and paint the side, the edge I think I'm going to go with my black marker on that Just, I think let's see this one's going to start on so it'll be Okay, maybe I won't get everything all over me. I guess uh, I'm just thinking out loud here. I was going to paint the trim black, but that would absolutely obscure the details on the trim, so I guess I'll go white with the trim. Just to, let's like say, just make it, because it's not going to show if I do black. <laughs> I'm sure it would obscure it. <laughs> Got the black edges at least. far up in that little nook here, but it's as much as I can there. <laughs> I got a sharpie over here. I may try and color that spider in after the fact, but just to make it stand out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 
just dries I'll throw some sharpie in the middle of that spider to make it really pop mm -hmm. see. some of the web got obscured there but it's still showing enough to you know what it is these easy ones I suppose I would think nothing have to worry about not hitting <laughs> edges are going to be on the inside so I don't have to worry about doing oh, I think they're all going to be actually yeah most of them are going to be on the inside but I do need to do the tabs on the end before I showing there. So, okay, I didn't notice that one. Uh, get my sand and stick there and get that burr. So, uh, for a minute or two while I pull out the next few pieces. So, 22, 21, <laughs> two 22s, which are different pieces. Those are both 22s. <laughs> I guess they're outside of the decoration. No, they're they're not even, maybe like that they are. Okay, they do match up like that. Then 21 to 24. Okay. Let's see what colors have I got else. I got, I got a brown one. Don't have a brown one. Mm -hmm. Thought I had a brown one. <laughs> maybe not. Let's see what, what color do I make the roof? I'll make the roof purple. Because orange, orange and purple look good together. <laughs> well, that's that's my, my, what I'm going to go with anyway. I've seen purple on Halloween decorations for too. So. Why not? actually shows up better on camera than it does in person. <laughs> okay. Let's go side to side. 
see if it makes any better. Striking Halloween house, if nothing else, now. <laughs> okay. Okay, that didn't seem to be. It'd be a bit better to paint with the grain, so I'll just do the. Just do the top half and bottom half. bottom seems to be the way to go. First step again and see how. Wait a second. They left a piece out. Because we're supposed to have a piece to go in the middle here. Let's see. Mm. Let's see if I can spot one that looks like the right shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because there's a picture. See, there's a that piece in the middle there. And they did not tell me where it was. <laughs> okay. Appropriately sized pieces. Nothing that wide with tabs on it, anyway. Okay, let's try it without the the piece that they show in the picture. Okay, so little guy goes in here. Here. 
Okay, it's fairly stable, and that's going to be covered up by the the trim piece once we get that in. So maybe that's all right. And another little guy. bigger one above it. Squeeze them together. Squeeze you together. All right. Now, let's see. Is there going to be? No, there's no uh, touch up here. Maybe. Blend perfectly, but we can sort of camouflage it a little bit. Maybe a few coats will blend it in better as it soaks in. soaking in. <laughs> okay. And then same on the sides here. This is going to take longer than I thought it was because I already didn't realize I already at the 30 minute mark. Okay, I'm gonna let that soak in a little bit longer. Throw a few coats on the back side, too. Oops, lost, a, lost a connection there. <laughs> okay. are definitely just not going to blend in, but like I said, it won't be as obvious. Let's see if it... Okay. Now, let's see. I missed a roof panel. I'm supposed to have... Oh, one more. Yep, one more. Little guy, little panel. Okay. That would definitely be a statement to have one orange roof panel. And actually, uh, if it was one of the middle ones, I might, but it's, it's not. It's one of the top and bottom ones. <laughs> To a different grain, so that's, that's why it worked better that way. Uh -huh. All right, so put that one on last. <laughs> Card. I knew it was getting there, but it snuck up on me. This one in here. 
this is going to be covered by that trim piece, so I don't have to worry about matching that one up. <laughs> this one down in the bottom. Is you're supposed to hang it with those. No, because it's, it's got a platform. Hmm. But I do need to do the hooks there. <laughs> or eyelets or whatever they are here. Make sure I get them. Come in. That would stand out something fierce if it wasn't. <laughs> Sharpie's not super sharp. My Sharpie's quite dull, actually. <laughs> but I just gotta get the abdomen. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool, cool. So we don't, the trim work actually goes on last. That's surprising. Okay, first thing, actually, we'll get our platform out. We'll, I'll go ahead and hit that with the, the sander just to. Just work my way around real gently. Now that's supposed to be 
the yard. So I'm gonna paint it, go all out and paint it green. Let's see, which way is it facing this way? No. This is the top. Looking at the pattern here, so it's Since it's technically the yard, I don't have to worry about blotting it to make it look smooth. It'll take a minute to clean, to paint this much surface, but I don't guess I have to paint in this area, because that's going to have a house on it. <laughs> so, blot that out. That'll be good through there. I'm guessing that's the front of the house. So. I'll go right to that edge there. Mm -hmm. She may be a witch, but there's no reason she can't have a well manicured yard. I guess I'm going to get my money's worth out of this $8 set. <laughs> okay. And I'm glad to actually have a use for these paint pens too. because I've had them forever. I'm, I'm surprised they're not dried up already, to be honest. I, for, I bought them like for one... I needed for one color, and it was actually cheaper to buy all of them than it was to buy an individual pen, so <laughs> I bought the set. looking up on my monitor to see which where I missed spots. Mm -hmm. A little thin through there, I think. Alright, that should get us. And then, let's see, I don't know which cutout. And our tree cutout. Hanging on. And what else? And just our house goes down there too, okay? So, which. I'm gonna paint her. I don't think that's red. I guess, well, if it's not red, I don't have red, so it must be red. It looks more like. Sort of, I don't even know what color to call that. Is this even the same? <laughs> sort of pinkish 
but for reasons that will become apparent, I don't want to go black with her. And not just to I don't want to lose her outline. Because the silhouette would be enough of an I don't need I don't think her outline is necessary on the inside. <laughs> Oh, that's right. These tips are reversible. Oh, this is a round tip. I forgot about that. <laughs> You've got the flat end on one side and the round on the other. Okay. Okay, I think that's just a reflection. I don't think it's... Yeah. Okay. And I will... I'm going to go black on our tree, though. because it doesn't have any other details so it'll be look good with that silhouette in black I think Good coverage on this thing, too. <laughs> well, since that's sitting there holding it in my hand. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get it in all the nooks and crannies with this one. Or even the, the marker if I was trying to use it, but it, I can sort of obscure the edges. Hmm. Yeah, looks like not perfect, but it's as good a job as I could have done with the marker too. Let's go up against our bright orange house. It's gonna be should make it really. Thing about this wood, it does soak that paint up really quickly. Excess, yeah, just want to let out, flip it over, and do the other side.
Right. Okay, now. Not to that. No. You're not going to hardly be able to see the witch from the front anyway, and she's facing this direction. It almost looks like. No. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and paint the back side too, or the front side, whichever this actually turns out to be. <laughs> see more of her from the back side and it's actually just occurred to me I'm glad there's not a I'm glad there's not a floor there because for my, my future plan it's going to be more beneficial for there not to be a floor there and our tree goes right here on the side I got this situation going Get out. Uh, come on. Uh, scaredy cat. Uh, door. Just, just occurred to me. I do need to color the door. Can't be orange. Let's go. I'm gonna do the trim. I'm gonna do the trim in white. So I'm gonna make the door black. And it's gonna be. Let's see, I just gotta do the central part of the door. Just the bottom central part. So yeah. So I'm not. not I think I can do that with it in place. And where am I at? 40 minutes? 50 minutes. Hmm. Okay, this, yeah. I was a little worried about this <laughs> being a short build. But, okay. The light fixture's got to be black because that's just, they're obviously going to be wrought iron. It's a witch's house. <laughs>
door was going to be white. I definitely don't have the scoop color that. Let me go get. I'm just going to go get an ink pen to color in our cat because those fine lines are going to be too hard for me to get at. So I'll be right back. Okay, I got two options. I did, forgot I did have some fine point paint markers, so the face is what I'm really worried about. But let's see. Let's start on the tail, see if I can see if these are dried out. No, they're still going a little bit. gel pen <laughs> it should work good enough wish I'd thought to do this before I took it off the form be easier if I had something else to hold on to <laughs> I think I'm about to lose his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I think there's gonna be enough of it left to tell what it is, but that's <laughs> Sounds fairly empty. <laughs> okay, I do need to that burr was actually causing it to be sticking up a little bit. So. Okay. That's yeah, the front got the details on it. Most of my white on that on the trim of those one of those. But now there it goes. Just had to come back to life. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be more of a white wash than a white paint, I think, though. Matter 
fact, I think I did end up buying another white marker, white paint pen. But Lightened it up a bit. That's not. Let me see. I got a couple more behind me. I can't really see. Be right back. Okay, I had bought another one. I don't think it worked as good as the first batch, but maybe it did. Okay, it works much better than the one that doesn't have any in it. It's not, I don't think it's going to be a full coverage, but it'll definitely be lightened. <laughs> this plywood just soaks it up so quickly. All right, yeah, I don't think that's, I don't think that's good enough. <laughs> okay. And now, what am I doing? Okay, let's put our. I'm gonna put my lamps in first. Cause they should. Oh, I forgot to paint the edges. Yeah, you know. <laughs> undo that. And actually, it looks like it needs a bit of. That's pretty rough on that one. This, this one. All right. Just the front side, I believe. Just, that's the only one that's going to be showing. And then the top, of course. Alright. Now, I'll pop you in. Seven thousand, and then we end the phone stand. I can get me upside down. Oh, maybe sideways can do it. Yeah. frame here. Uh, oh, I meant to, uh, I can't really see the sides on it. We got the over. I forgot to color the sides in on, um, actually on both of those, but I think that'll be alright. <laughs> Still looking pretty good. That's, yeah. Alright. What's after that? 
Okay, now. Okay, now I am. I'll take this whole rig and set you aside. Find a spot for you here. Let you fall off. <laughs> okay, and I'm like, like I just thought about after the fact. I'm gonna go ahead and paint these guys white. So. While they're on the form, because I think I won't have to handle them near as much. Even though it's not really white, it's just sort of lightening it. <laughs> So it's going to come apart. <laughs> appears to be the same gauge. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather have the flat one anyway. Okay, it is not the same gauge. <laughs> yeah, just broken it. <laughs> and... See it now, it's a little thicker. seems to be working better.
this one too but got a pumpkin might as well hit it jack-o-lantern I guess Green's not the right color for that, but it's close enough. <laughs> and then our main window here. Oh, <laughs> wrong one. stand out against the purple, the actual purple roof. <laughs> light fixture <laughs> yeah I don't think there's a third one no it don't look like it okay set you there and then orange for a pumpkin or two okay yeah there's two pumpkins <laughs> Doesn't have any details, so I'll go with the black on it as well. It looks like to be another wrought iron deal. Just a matter of minutes being away from being done. This, once this is all the painting, I think is the big part of this. It's going to be um, real quick assembling it. Because I say we're oh, there's more pumpkins over there. <laughs> They're everywhere.
the sides of our trim black to match our sides here but I can do that once it's in place let's see where's all these pumpkins and everything oh they're the oh front and back on the pumpkins okay so what's first where am I at? I didn't lost my place okay yeah pumpkins are first so let's pop them out back of them, but I think we're all right still. <laughs> and then our fencing. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I definitely do. I do need to paint the back of this because it's, <laughs> it's going to be pretty exposed here out in the open. At least this one goes quick. Just to <laughs> can't go deep in it. I couldn't numb with the marker either. So not quite dry on the back. <laughs> yard completed well except for the that part <laughs> let's get the should have done that earlier go ahead and do the front trim in the window so these these are both this yeah six and five so they're both the same pieces so I'll probably oh 
glad I just remembered. <laughs> Seven thousand again. these bad boys in place. a few minutes to dry and then we'll flip it over and do the back side I think I'm gonna get these uh, everybody to cooperate all right so let's see I'll be right back with the back side okay there with that should be dry enough to move or at least rotate <laughs> that just noticed I need to paint the back sides of those. Okay, I didn't get that one lined up perfectly. <laughs> I think good enough. Mm -hmm. right. Now, here, get and uh, some trim. Another window. I've been thinking 
sure I would have done this while that glue was drying. I'm sure you've seen enough of me painting tonight. <laughs> or maybe I should put the quote, quotation marks painting. <laughs> Started a new card and forgot to clear it. Now we're good. <laughs> okay, let's do. Let's put all my glues in place, I think. and get them lined up nice and good. And before this turned into such, to such a long build, I had plans to do something else. I'll probably go ahead and see. Since I'm, since I'm going, I'm going to keep going. Okay, I got a little top heavy on that one, though. as good as I thought it was, but, oh, I forgot, I've still got the, no, patch bit on the side here, forgot about it, <laughs> well, that's getting a little stickier, I'll throw some paint on this one. Seems to be looking good on this side, so let, let's tempt fate and let it stand up straight. <laughs> and, and this is supposed to be a patch on our roof here. Not a lot of surface on this one, but I think... That's about right. Nice and colorful witch's house. 
I guess I could hit that rooftop. Some darkness. these upper parts too. I didn't think about them being exposed in the back along with these side uh, pieces. Let me I think I can get in here on this one and without doing much additional I can oh, I can not show you while I do it. <laughs> around there so I say I'm not not gonna make it perfect I don't think nah but I can I say I can obscure the worst of it and make it blend a little better Tree's gonna be in the way to get to those. So I'm gonna let them ride. All right, I think that concludes the build portion of today's program. But I don't know how it is. I know I got a pretty substantial international audience. Whoops. <laughs> I don't know how common junk mail is around the world, but here in the States we get tons of it. A few weeks back, they they do this thing where they send out, they call it a, a raffle or drawing or something, car dealership advertisement, and they put attached to little postcards LED boxes where you pull the tab and it lights up the LED. And then the, the number, all, all the numbers are the same, so that you're never going to win anything from it, but that's you know, it, it's borderline scam. <laughs> I'm sure they've, there's probably one number that they paid to ship differently, to, and, and that person's going to assume it's not going to work. So, you know, but, but that's how it works. They come with these, like these little plastic housings, and you pull the tab and it lights up so you, you can see the number. But I was, once I pulled it apart, this is what I found inside the LED, a couple of batteries, and a diffuser. So I thought if I can get that LED lit up, which does light up when you... I've already experimented with that part. It takes two batteries to light it. Get them in place. And then... I don't know if I can tell them if the... Good deer reach around. And the polarity matters, but I gotta... Just gotta get gotta get some clearance there. I, did, I made it too wide.
Mm -hmm. I say I'm doing this real time. Haven't all I've done is test to make sure the LED does light up, but I haven't actually thought much further than that on getting this thing up and going. All right. Not, not getting the battery going on the top, I think. Yeah, it does work, but I gotta, like I said, you gotta expose the metal. Probably a better way to do this, but. <laughs> Okay, okay. flicker there. There we go. It does light up, and then you got your diffuser. I think my plan is if I can find a way to, I'll I'll glue that in there, and then try and slide it in this back window. And we'll have a some nice little eerie light on the front. You know, that's my intention at any rate. <laughs> so, stick the little B7000, get a little blob in there. Pop you down in that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're still working. Like polarity matters, so I'm gonna, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Oh, all right. So I'm going to give that a few minutes to dry. And I think we're in for, I think it's going to be a really cool treat to have it, that silhouette of that witch in the back and all the windows lit up green. <laughs> or or it may just be a waste, a waste of time, but it'll be fun to try out. And, you know, like I say, it does repurpose something that would end up in the landfill, which is really what I'm thinking about more than <laughs> successfully lighting up my models. Because cause this works. I just may try and find some of these LEDs and buy them <laughs> so I can do it more easily on my book nooks. Plus I can get a variety of colors and everything too, If it, like I say, if it works. So I'll let that dry up for a few minutes. I'll come back and we'll see how that works. Okay. Should be... Good and stabilized now. I need to. Okay, so that's that's our light. Let's take these on down. If I can get it. Oh, whoop, I to get tangled up over here. See that small enough to go in that. Ah. <coughs> Okay. Oh, darn. I thought I was going to slide in that. Let go in this one. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's it. A... Okay, let me just totally kill these lights and see. If I can... I can... Oh. Can't find the button. There it is. Yeah, I've lost the green. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I lost the diffuser. I got the. I guess it wasn't on there as good as I thought. <laughs> okay. Seemed like it was pretty sturdy. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess it would hurt to have it back in there. <laughs> okay, so okay, we'll try that again now. <laughs> Without the, I can't go from the bottom with it not on there. Oh. All right, I'll be down in there. And 
it's almost too bright in person. Let me try it higher up here on the I'm gonna go into the, the top of the bottom one so you have that ah, so fiddly okay let's see how it looks on the top window okay. that's too bright I think on the bottom really lots of that silhouette in person the witch in there maybe okay experiment at the front <laughs> I think I can all right I say it's almost too bright but it's it is a pretty cool effect have that oh yeah especially the here on the front with the window ah, okay there yeah, definitely. Oh, that's how there's it. It's got the hole in the side. I forgot about that. <laughs> this might. It's not as bright in person as it is on the camera. I think the camera picks up all the. Let me turn. Let me, this is the dimmest light to see if I can. See, it's even. It's even. Like this, it's not. It looks much better in person than it does on, on camera. It's sort of, it is sort of like eerie green. I just got, like I say, got the, the sill of the light bulbs, like the window sill coming out. But yeah, that okay, that's, it doesn't do it on the front, does it? So it's only on the back. Yeah, that's a pretty cool effect. Uh, plus, you know, something other that I wasn't just trying to repurpose, it would be ideal, I think. Can I, is there any? I see. There's. I don't think there's any other holes in the just the windows and the. Maybe. Let me spin it where. I got the wire going up. See if I can get it go further up into the. Lost the. I lost the. I lost the touch. <laughs> Uh, I'm get more light. I'm almost good. I'm almost done playing with this. I'm just good. okay. Got the light. Got it bent up there where it can. Yeah. I had the light. <laughs> okay. I gotta get. Oh, I see what it is. I gotta get on the edge of the battery. That's where it works. I think I pushed the tape back around it too far. Okay. Or I may have just already, no, I was going to say I almost drained the battery. Okay, okay. Lights off. No, I just, I've lost it. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, it seems pretty stable. Let's see if I can get it all the way up. It's going above. I say it still it looks it really looks cool in person. I know it's just too bright on the camera. The camera's got too it's too uh, photosensitive. <laughs> but that being said, for eight dollars, this was a fun what hour and a half, two hour project now. <laughs> More than I intended. Okay, you know, I probably need this tree a little loose, so I'm gonna hit some glue on the edge here. Try and keep it straight. Just before I call it a night. Just run that right on that. Pop you back in place. And actually, before I do that, let me these. I'll hurry here. Paint the back of these, or color the back of these black so they don't, they're not bright as day on the other side. Something I saw that. If I was ambitious, I'd paint them orange and black like I did the orange and green like I did the other part, but I, think I just want it to sort of blend.
Totally covered with that one. Just, I'm just sort of trying to camouflage here. Alright, I'll be back in now. Tree back in place. Hopefully, I can get some stick them going. Actually, it actually doesn't even contact the house. <laughs> I think that sort of looks better with those pumpkins sort of not being as obvious. All right, well, I say for an $8 build, sort of fun, nice little display for Halloween. I liked it. Hey, if you made it this far, congratulations. <laughs> I appreciate it. But otherwise, if you're not, and I'm just talking to myself, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share, do whatever you want to with all that. Be good to one another, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.